Once in a while, at the community services conference, someone will come up to me and say, Sarah, this is the community services conference. Why do we have to talk about politics? The reason is very, very simple and clear, and I hope we're kind of making the connection at this conference between our community service between our legislative program and our political program and what's happening. Because frankly, the fact of the matter is, everything that we gain at the bargaining table can be taken away like that. Whether it's in a court where our judicial races matter, whether it's across the street in the state capitol, Phil serves on our uh, unemployment compensation board, you look at the workshops that we're talking about, whether it's a result of job loss because of free trade, not fair trade, deals, there's decisions that are made at a school board affecting our children or in the state capitol. That is why we, in organized labor, need to not only elect friends of labor, but once they are elected, here's an idea, we need to hold them accountable. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways we do that is talking about our Good Jobs Now agenda. Toddy Anderson talked about it a little bit yesterday, the five-point plan. Phil's going to talk about it, what our ideas are on the state level, not only on the federal level. So we start talking about what people want to talk about, which is jobs. How do we get ourselves out of this hole? And the way to do that is we talk about our jobs agenda. We hold those that are running for office to commit to supporting our jobs agenda so that when election day comes along, naturally what's in people's head, hopefully, if we have done our job correctly in educating and communicating with our union members, is that I'm going to support the candidate that is supporting the AFL-CIO jobs agenda. Okay? So we are not just talking about an election day issue, we're talking about a long-term agenda. So we're moving our jobs agenda to a larger size and scale, and we need to expand and strengthen our worksite and local union structures.